a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't keep track of them all From people dropping a bomb To people putting up walls I feel like life is on haul Perception stuck in a vault I know that time can heal all But how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly Hey guys, I just got home from that thrift store. Didn't find anything. I do have to go to a Goodwill today. I have some things to drop off there to donate, but gym was great today. I'm starving, so I just made this apple cheddar salad. And Leo just called me and he said he wanted to surprise me by taking me out to dinner tonight, but the place that he tried to make a reservation on, like, the restaurant wasn't on there. So then I just went on their website and made a reservation for us tonight. But um, I'm excited for that. We're going to La Pecora Bianca. I've talked about this restaurant in one of my past vlogs. I went there for a girlfriend's birthday recently and it was so good. So we're going there at 5.30. I'm gonna shower and get ready. And I think I'm gonna put on a really cute outfit and ask Leo to take some Instagram pictures for me, but he just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> I am boiling an egg right now. I love soft boiled eggs, like for getting protein in, really good. Once I get ready, I'll show you guys my outfit and everything, and then I'll let you know what we're up to. I think we're gonna go get coffee somewhere. I don't know, we're both like feeling a real good coffee. So yeah, happy Saturday. Hey guys, so I just got ready and before I show you my outfit, I just want to share a new dossier perfume for you this month. So today I have a fruity honey and it is such a clean, nice scent. It's perfect for this time of year. This is why I chose it for March because it's like a nice, clean, light scent and I feel like going into the warmer months, that's all I'm wanting right now. So this is inspired by Jo Malone's Nectary Blossom and Honey. And there's like a peach undertone in here. There's honey, nectarine, black currant, if that gives you any idea of what it smells like. But if you guys don't know, I am always promoting Dossier on my channel. And I just wanted to say that if you're wondering why it's so cheap, it's because they eliminate retailer markups and celebrity marketing and licensing fees. And they offer a luxury sense at 70 to 90% less. So if you're wondering why it's so affordable, that is the reason why. I cannot recommend this brand enough. I talk about them all the time and I genuinely use the perfume every single day. Even if I'm home working during the week, I just like to spray it and I just feel like it elevates my day, if that makes sense. If you're interested in trying this out, I will leave my discount down below. I believe it is 10 Laura M. And let's get back to the vlog. So I just got ready. I wanna share with you my outfit because I'm a major fan of it today. It's basically all the clothes that I've bought within like the past month or so. So everything is new, feels good. Just waiting on Leo. He is going to come up to my neighborhood. He's actually going to hide these wires down here. Sorry, my apartment's a bit of a mess but he is going to hide these wires because it drives me insane. Every day I get like 
frustrated subconsciously by that wire because I walk by it every day and I just think it looks so messy. So he's gonna come and basically hide all of these wires. I don't know if you can tell like there too. It just bothers me. It's like one of those things that once it's done, it just looks clean organize nice you get what i'm saying so yeah we're gonna grab coffee and then he's going to come here and do that we also are going to warby parker because he wants to get a pair of glasses might look for myself but i don't know so showing you the outfit starting off i have these earrings from target just got these love them really cute i always wear this anna luisa necklace and then just this amazon necklace with my initial in a Luisa ring. This ring is like old for my mom. And then I just have a ring here. It says Faith on it. My mom got me that for Christmas. And then just like a random ring. Nothing special there. Moving on. So wearing this Pink Floyd shirt that I just got from Forever 21. I got it in a medium large size and I love it so much. I got these jeans from h&m recently again so good although i put them in the dryer when i wash them and they are tight i struggled to get in them so funny i was like it was a struggle <laughs> and then i have these new fila sneakers on if you watched one of my last vlogs i just included these in the vlog so love this outfit also i have my black blazer of course the lighting sucks Here's the blazer that I was thinking of wearing. Honestly, I wanted to get a blazer um, when I went to the thrift store this morning, couldn't find one. I wish this was like a little more oversized, but it's fine, like it's not like tight or anything, which is good. So this is the outfit. Yeah, normally I would not be wearing sneakers because like I just wouldn't wanna go to dinner tonight in sneakers, but you know what, I don't care anymore. <laughs> This is New York. Most people wear sneakers anyway. I think it looks nice. All right, I'll show you. This is the final look. Booked a rumble class tomorrow, so I have to bring my tote bag, which is on the floor because I was packing stuff for tomorrow. So I'm staying at Leo's tonight and we're going to rumble boxing tomorrow, but I have to bring like running shoes for that. Not these shoes that I'm wearing right now. So unfortunately, I found this on the web. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I have to bring my tote bag, which I'm not really thrilled about because I wish I could have like a cute little purse going on right now. That's not happening. So I'm excited to get a coffee, much needed right now. So put a little clip in there. Oh, I have to put a coat on. So that's definitely gonna ruin this. He made it. Now we're getting coffee. I don't know where though. Oh, down here. This way? Yes. My hair is falling out. I'm a mess. I'm sweating. picture oh <laughs> there's so much caffeine in these coffees that were like bouncing off the walls it's so nice so we're gonna go to another glasses store Warby Parker trying some spectacles <laughs> having a wonderful day this coffee's great by the way we went to Mama and I never mentioned that but really good mm-hmm We spent literally all day in Warby Parker. I'm pretty sure both of us tried on every pair of glasses that they even had in the store. And now we're going to dinner. 
we ended up like snagging a last minute reservation because we spent so much time in Warby Parker, we had to cancel our dinner reservation at 5.30. So now we made one for 7.30 at Bryant Park and we're walking there now, which is absolutely insane. It's gonna take an entire hour, but we're like, why not? It's not that cold out. So it's like two and a half miles. Forty blocks. My feet hurt. And now I'm starving. So excited to eat. Now we're gonna walk through the Bryant Park shops to kill some time because we still have a half hour until our reservation. It's so nice. Just got this waffle and it comes with vanilla ice cream, chocolate, oh my god. This is insane. It's like fresh off of the waffle iron. We just finished our waffle and ice cream. And it's funny because both Leo and I were saying that we've always walked past the waffle and dingus. Is that how you pronounce it? We always walk by it and smell it, but neither of us have ever eaten it before. It was so good. Probably a million calories, but whatever. It was still so amazing. Great dessert. Dinner was great, by the way. That rigatoni pasta, obsessed. It's so good. Now we're gonna walk home, so hopefully I don't get blisters. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's the New Year's ball up there. fresh out of the shower. I feel so good and clean. Oh, so nice. So we're just gonna watch some Curb Your Enthusiasm. Please let me know down below of any good shows that you guys watch right now. That's all we watch is Curb and just looking to switch it up a little bit. Today was such a good day. Really enjoyed it. And I'm excited for tomorrow too. So really great weekend so far. It's only gonna get better, so I will see you guys in the morning. You have to hey guys, happy Sunday. We're going to Rumble right now. Keep you posted on how it goes. <laughs> Just finished at Rumble. Dead. I think I'm into boxing now though. 
I think I'm a boxing girly. We stopped at this random deli. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. We also got iced coffees. We all got a protein smoothie. Got a turkey sandwich. Just enjoying the beautiful day. Such a nice day out. We just came for a walk by the water. Making chicken Mediterranean bowls for dinner tonight. Have the chicken sauteing here. We have brown rice back there. All of our toppings, we're gonna put some roasted red pepper hummus, garlic hummus, feta cheese, homemade tzatziki, just Greek yogurt, olive oil, seasonings, which include salt, pepper, and dill. And then we have these banana pepper rings. I love this brand, talked about them before. We have some marinated onions to go on top. We also have some lettuce and crushed up pita chips. Also forgot that we add this tomato and cucumber salad. I just chopped up some onion very small and added it, but it's just salt, pepper, olive oil, and red wine vinegar. Okay, here is the finished product. This one is mine. We're gonna add these crushed up pita chips on top, but they are just simply beautiful.